Okay. This is a an interesting one because this is the uh, the very latest version of the Windmill Blade 3 dartboard. Um, it's your normal Blade 3 in so much as it is kind of the standard BDO um, competition board endorsed by Rapeside and the BDO um, as we've all seen before. So there's all those normal endorsements on there. But there's one or two modifications to this, uh, this new Blade 3. You get your the usual standard uh, dartboard fitting kit that comes with it. And you get the new board itself. And there's also um, a little bit of information about the game of darts and a, a checkouts card. So that's what you get with your new um, new Star Blade 3. Now then, what's the differences then? Well, as ever, yep, it's a cracking rock solid board, but as you can see, it's got some uh, new graphics on there, if I just get to uh, my old beaten up version. There's the old Blade 3, and there's the new Blade 3, and what other differences are there? If we look at the side of the old one, we've got this silver edging. Uh, at the side of the new one, we've got a black anti reflection, anti shine um, finish, so no um, distractions there. And then, last of all, they've made a few modifications to the wires. Now these these wires now are uh, supposed to be harder and uh, are more difficult to damage and destroy. As ever, it's a really cracking board, beautifully made, really obviously championship quality. Um, the size all feels. Um, you know, really tightly packed in there, uh, as you would expect from um, a quality competition board. Your usual good quality windmill product. Um, let's stick it up, see how it feels like. Throw a few darts in there. Now have a look at this. Just uh, throwing a few darts at this new blade board. Your first impression of it is that it's a really sturdy, well-made thing. I mean, I'm throwing the normal 24 gram purists. They're not sticking in all the way, and, and if you've watched a few of my videos, you'll know I seem to throw fairly hard. This is a, a, a quality, well, tightly packed together thing. It feels really sturdy. Um, those wires look really up to the job. You can tell by the sound it makes. Uh, I mean, yeah, obviously this is a new board, and there's nothing quite like a new board, but you can tell by the sound it makes that it's, that it's a nice quality, well, well densely packed uh, with fibre kind of board. Yeah, colours are nice and bright. Uh, maybe not quite as white as a, a bottom board. Uh, just compared to, but um, having said that, this is a really, really uh, nice board. It's a solid, well-made thing. The the, the wires uh, are quite thin, but quite sturdy. Um, and uh, and the overwhelming feeling of the thing is uh, is just that quality championship kind of level board. You don't feel like your darts are slamming in all the way up to the barrel. The, the boards up to the job are containing them. And, uh, yeah, um, you feel like uh, it feels like a long lasting kind of quality thing. 
So there you go. Um, that's a revolt you for a few more. Yeah, cracking piece of kit. Yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 dartboard for me. Really nicely made, put together well, nice graphics on it, feels really good, really feels the part. Very good board. Right, just a, a few close-ups so you can see what kind of marks the darts leave the thing. Um, I've been throwing at this now for a few minutes and so far I've had no effect on it whatsoever. You can actually see how far my darts are going in. I'm going to put them out, look. Next to nothing. No mark. Um, that for me is a sign of... Uh, what kind of longevity you're going to get out of your dartboard. So they are. A nice close-up view of uh, the kind of impact, as I said, 24 gram purists have on this new Blade 3. A very nice piece of gear.